Hi everybody, my name is Steen and today I will show you how to integrate a Clang Fabrique in a Digico console session. Uh, now remember this is part two of the movie. In part one we already um, uh, connected all of the devices in the network and had them talking and seeing each other in the network. In part two uh, we're gonna continue. Now let's go to the config tab of the Clang app and to the external control tab. Now make sure you're still in setup mode, this is important. And then go to the system tab. Here you can choose the clock speed mode, 48K uh, in my case, and you can choose the number of outputs you want on your Clang Fabric, which in my case is five. Now if you want four, you push four, that will give you 48 inputs. Now remember, that's why I think it's really important, for um, you have to push restart to apply this setting but in my case I want 5 so I won't do this. Next up we're gonna do some audio routing on the Clang. And you can see we route the MADI the MADI to the 3D uh, in-ear monitoring 40 channels to the 3D in-ear monitoring and then the MADI the MADI over here, we send the 3D mix back to the Digico over MADI and this is patched right there as you can see. Now now that's all done on the Clang side, now it's time to go to the Digico side. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, make sure the input channels I want to go into the Clang, we're gonna patch them into the Clang. How do we do it? We um, go to the layout screen, channel list, input channels, this gives us an overview of all input channels and we're going to press edit. But right here we can push the outputs tab which will give us the direct out tab and now if you remember from last in part one I labeled my clang as clang madi. Now what I want to do is first I want the kick and the snare to be in a clang. I do not want the snare bottom in a clang. Don't know why, just don't like it. And then I'm going to continue to put everything else in a clang. So I go ahead and ripple two channels into the clang. That'll give me kick and snare top, as you can see. Now I'm not going not to put the snare bottom into the clang. So I go to the hi-hat, go to direct outs, clang muddy and I will select nine, the remaining nine channels I put into the clang. There you go, that's 12 MIDI, MIDI channels and 12 channels, but remember this is a stereo channel, so that, that's why it gives me 12 channels and I left one out. Hope that's clear. Now I go to the output section because I need to bring um, the channels coming back from clang into my board and how do I do it? I go in the aux, um, there's a, on the Digico there's a thing called merge input. It's right here. You push it and there again you can choose the clang MIDI. I will have five aux mixes, remember? So I ripple five aux mixes, MIDI and there you go. As you can see these are all merge, you have a merge input from the MIDI five channels. Now there's one thing I always forget, you never should forget it, the merge input needs to be selected on. So let's quickly do that. There you go, all five. There you go. So now it's, it's time to go back to the Clang app. Now where do we go to? We still check the external control, we're still in setup mode. That's where we're gonna have it. We go to connect and now we're going to set the remote control of the five mix buses on the Clang on the Digico. So how do we control these mixes? That's the way you do it. So you push mix one, you select the remote aux of the Digico, which will be the drums, mix one. Mix two will be the next one in line, that's number two, the bass. Mix three, this will be next in line, that will be the guitar. Mix of four. This will be my keyboards, keyboard player. And mix five will be my vocal. Okay, so now we have remote control uh, of the from the Digico of the um, auxes on the Clang. Next tab we're gonna press is the channels tab. Now this is where you patch all the incoming signals from the Digico on the Clang app. Again, this is a really easy workflow, very similar to the Digico workflow. Channel one on my Clang will be my uh, 
kick channel. Of course, you can ripple it down, same as a Digico. And as you can see, everything ripples down. But as you remembered, I did not like snare bottom in the clang. So what I do, I take channel three, I clear down every channel below that. So that's fine. And now I go back to channel three on, on clang. I choose the hi-hat channel and I ripple that down again which will give me anything from hi-hat to vocal. Now everything is okay, seems okay to me, but look here, there's a red, um, the link uh, section is red, that is exactly what I expected, because we f we're, facing with <laughs> we're facing a stereo channel. So what we do, we link the channel, now immediately the clang is happy because he knows this is a stereo channel but as you see we lost channel 12 now that's really dangerous we don't want that so let me go to channel 13 and we choose it to be channel 12 which would be my own vocal actually so that's all good that's all patched now you can continue further on but never forget I was in accent the accent of the vocals that's where I did this if you go to the keys as you can see, these dispatching, that will be kind of off because I only did it for vocals. So what you want to do, you go back to the vocal, you copy from this user, and then you paste the whole information to all users. This will give you a warning because it's something really dangerous to do. <laughs> if you don't want that, never do that during a show. And then you go, okay, that will give you the right you see the right patches need some time and there you go success happy days um, and now it's time to go to the external control panel again and finally we can activate the clang let's activate the clang there you go this is active pulling mix sensing settings from console and the clang is on so as you can see now on the channel list on the fader section there's no faders of sound to any aux mix. So that's what we kind of what we wanted because when we go to the Digico and we go to the input channels, there's not a single channel assigned to clang. Now, how do you assign clang on the Digico? Almost there. So in this case, I'll take my vocal, which is actually coming into the clang. I'll push the aux send. And this button you um, enables you to activate or deactivate the clang. So you push it and then I activate the clang in the drum section. And now what I'm able to do is I can now have my vocal turn around in the arc sense and you can go ahead and play around with clang which would be a cool, very cool thing to do. So that was it. I hope you enjoyed the video. hope you uh, liked it. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the section below and I will try to answer them as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.